waves and particles. They are essentially two sides of the same coin. It's like Bert with Ernie, or pizza with, uh, well, mozzarella, of course. You can't expect one to exist without the other. Now, if I ask you to flip this coin in the air, and while it is in the air, you won't be able to know what the outcome of the coin is going to be. It's only when you catch it and you see it, then you will know whether it's heads or a tail. Let me make it more clear to you. If you put your finger in a bucket of water and start wiggling it, what will happen? Well, the surface of the water will get disturbed, of course, and the disturbances, or to be more specific, the waves will travel away from the finger. This is what happens around us. All, everything emits such waves around us, and everything has this same wiggling effect in the surroundings. Now, if you put more fingers into the water and start wiggling them, all of them together, you will see that the individual disturbances will interfere with each other's movements, of course, and make a bigger, bigger wave and start distorting the surface even more of the water. This is what is happening in this room right now. We being the fingers in the water, and well, the space is filled with air instead of water. N th this is actually, uh, yes, so uh, uh, this is what is happening actually, but then you would think that why aren't we getting hit with each other's waves like, you know, the fingers in the water were getting hit with each other, uh, the waves. The thing is that the waves that we produce are so low in energy that you won't feel, you won't feel them hitting you. You won't feel them hitting you. And, well, it will be, uh, it won't have the enough effect around, around you for you to maybe knock someone down of their chair who's being really mean to you without ever being noticed. This character of wave is associated with everything big, small, large in the universe. But the thing with the, with the smallest particles is that but the thing with the smallest particles is that you can collect them, speed them up, energize them, and you can make them help us to see the unseen. Similar thing happens at the Large Hadron Collider in, the Swi in Switzerland, where a bunch of protons are collected and shot out as a really dense wave, then sped up inside the circular ring and is destined to meet its partner coming from the opposite direction with the same energy. Now when these two waves collide, the ripples and the wiggles are so fierce that occasionally you might see the unseen particles, or in this case, the Higgs boson is forced to show up. Well, just like due, in some, due, to, due to my friends, I get forced on some Thursday nights to go out with them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>